What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Paper Mario. I know what you're saying, but that's not the fountain yet, door. And you would be correct. Seeing the Paper Mario is the fountain yet, door is just around the corner. I figure to get ready for it, we play a little bit of the original. So we're just gonna. Yeah, this is my professional file, but it looks like I have not gone any further than the first stage. So we're just gonna delete it and start fresh. And basically, as always, I use my original name. Well, as original as for you. I have to use... Wait a minute, I think I did that wrong. Yeah. I have to use the analog stick and I feel like I would be able to do it a lot better if I was able to use the D-pad. Now this is not on the official software. This is actually on Nintendo Online. So I have those bars on the side, which you probably won't be seeing because I'll be editing it out. And I will not be bothering to literally read everything. I'm just going to try and play it as is and probably use a turbo button to skip a lot of the dialogue. Okay, I think I have it set, so it will do it. Yep. Yep, that's the turbo button. I'm not touching any buttons, and it's doing that automatically. Now, unfortunately, right here, this is all scripted. I cannot move at all. It, it, until we get to the castle, we can't move at all. But basically, this is how it always starts out, and I love this game, I'm glad I can play this. My dad has a Nintendo 64, the original thing. Sadly, the Pro Controller I gave him, the new modern one, apparently it's a little... Ooh, okay. Anyway, like I was saying, it's, the joystick was like too sensitive. When he plays GoldenEye, the Falcon, GoldenEye, I mean, he moves around too fast. I'll probably put up a picture of the controller I'm talking about in the video, but basically, he can't play the game. I mean, he appreciates the controller, and unfortunately, as far as we know, there's no way of, like, adjusting the controls for it so I really don't know how to do it until we can get that a uh, controller that actually you can adjust the sensitivity on it my dad can't use the Nintendo 64 this is kind of sad I mean he always loved playing James Bond I mean we even gave him dark I perfect darkness, but he prefers to play well, well Golden Eye. The controller like finally went out on him. And by that I mean the joystick. Here's the thing, he tried to fix it. But it was like high wired onto the circuit board. So there was like no chance of like this taking the old joystick out, put a new one in, and you're good to go. And Dad like tried opening it up and it just fell apart because he literally didn't know what to do. And I'm actually still using the turbo button. And I basically can keep on talking, and 
the game is like really much like auto playing for itself when you think about it. Which is kind of funny because it gives you more time to talk. And the thing is, it doesn't matter at this point. So I could just keep on doing this and just like go off to make a sandwich or get water or something. And the game will keep on playing on its own. Which is pretty cool with the turbo button. So I love the turbo button. I might make a video out of the controller I am using. It's a Zelda themed one. It's a third party one. But here's the thing. Other than HD Rumbo, this baby has everything. And I mean everything an official Pro Controller does. And yes, that means it also has NFC. Yes. Wait, does the official Pro Controller actually have HD Rumbo or is that only in the Joy-Cons? Can somebody explain to that to me? Because I never own the official Pro Controller, so I really can't say if it has HG Rumbo or not. It's always been a third party controller, specifically one with, well, NFC. I mean, I do have a wireless GameCube controller with a rechargeable battery, but that's missing a lot of the features like motion control, Rumbo, NFC. So, yeah, we're in the forest and like uh, before, I'm still on the turbo function, so I really don't need to do anything but other than talk. I guess I could try and say something about my animation. I'm right now, I'm kind of dumb. I don't know what my next animation should be. I do think of this one idea, but it requires me making a new character. This is really good. The turbo button really makes the game go by really fast. Do, 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 do. Bye bye. I don't know how far long that's taken with the turbo function. Probably like only five minutes altogether. I don't know. I really don't know. Normally. I would be able to see the time down there where it would say the minus button, but I really can't see where it is. So we here we are in the little house. Um, come on, when's that toad gonna get here? All right. Yeah, shut up, Toad, and let me play. And in fact, this is actually the sequel to Mario RPG. So maybe I should have played that first, then this, then Paper Mario. Oh my goodness, I think <laughs> I'm stuck in a loop now. Yeah, I was stuck in a loop. I'm just going to quickly save and the save box should be right here. Okay. I got to take care of something. So I'm going to pause the end of recording right now and get back to you later. Okay, I'm back and now let's talk to this Goomba who seems to be very happy about his work. Turbo button engage. Oh. I guess I have to talk to someone else. It's been a while, so I'm not entirely wondering which one to talk to. This looks like Molly is talking to himself. If I was to animate the, all of these Goombas in an anime studio or a moho, I'd be using moho now. Okay, is that Goomba wearing lipstick? 
Oh my goodness, it's It is! It's literally wearing lipstick! It's a Goomba Mom! I think that's what that's supposed to be. A Goomba Mom. I don't know if that's an actual name, but... This is obviously a Goomba Grandpa. So... Yeah, I think I need to talk to the old man. Then I talk... Okay, and this is... Gram Goomba. Gram Goompa. Goompa! <laughs> yeah! I talk to Goompa. Yeah, and this activates a cutscene where Kermit, I think that's what that thing but it's called, not Goomba, uh, Toad, Koopa. She's trying to think outside the box as I'm trying to think of a good bug, but I just couldn't think of one. Ooh, who's this? You just fixed that. interact with a something, this is the controller. If I interact with something where I'm using a turbo button, like in this case opening up a door, it basically negates the turbo function which is engaged. Yeah, he's saying that there's a box here. I guess it was only for that walk in the inside the house. I think that's the bush we need to go to to get the so called. There's a peach dog somewhere. I know as soon as we try to leave this area, it triggers a mini boss area. There we go. Peach Daisy dog. in the plus button. So we have 16 coins. You know, I think I'm gonna have to do some reading because if I don't, it will make me go through the whole stupid dialogue. So, I wonder how much I'll level up here. Well, I know I won't level up in this area. Oh, I pressed the, like, B button, they let me go by down. Okay, oh, I was just, like, using this joystick. Okay, at this point, until I get the power up, the let's make sure I my attack. 
really... All I'm doing is one for damage. Now he's gonna... He still only does one point of damage. Keep going? Oh, this no. time he's gonna go into a shell. Now he does two points of damage? That. I think that means you you got like 10 stars there. And this one has a big one there. Yeah, so we got 20 points all together. <laughs> I mean, I'll be back. Is that a Terminator reference? I'll be back. Let's uh, check out this tree. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness, look at that. You can actually see the... Is this like a hidden secret you get to open up later? Or is that just a fourth of the emulator? In case you're wondering, I am doing this on the Nintendo Switch. So, if this is a glitch, it's Nintendo's fault. Give me that fire flower, baby! Oh yeah! Was it the Mr. Kool Aid right there? Get it. Oh, I just bumped into it. Oh, that means he's gonna be able to get at least one piece of damage off of him. These loot boots always take two hits to take down. Oh, damn it. I wanted to use the hammer. And this guy takes two points of damage for each hit. Yeah, I remember that. Probably because he's got a spike on his head. But how many star points do I get? Oh, damn it! I jumped too late. Oh, this is gonna take me down three points. If I can't block. No, but it's gonna take me down four points. Yeah, okay, this time I did it good. Ah, good, and it's only one. Bam! You get one hit off. At the wind, right there. Give me that coin. In this game, it's okay to call them coins. You don't need to worry about messing it up. Okay. Honestly, I don't know what those use of those store points are. I honestly have no clue. Alright, L2 allows you to do something like that. What about... Okay. R1... L1 will do anything. R2 doesn't do anything either. Looks like it's only L1. This is acting like... I don't know. Like... 
Oh, we'll unlock it. Okay. Activating turbo mode. Okay. I got the turbo button activated so it can go through all this dialogue. Okay, and I think he's gonna give me a tutorial on how to use this job. And he's gonna turn it off, so let's see. Would you like a quick lesson in how to use it? I can just hold, keep holding down the B button and it works the same way as like the turbo button. So I really don't need to use the turbo button at all. I guess if it's a long dialogue. Yeah. I think the Goomba. Yeah, he starts following me. Let's uh, do. Uh, let's see. Six health? Yeah, I need to go see this little toad. You take a quick nap. Take a quick nap. Nappy poo! And get full power up. Slam. Okay, and now we'll click a quick save. And smash! So now we just have to... Yeah, that's gonna trigger Goomba to pop up. Damn it! I can't wait to get that upgrade, but I actually 
It's like a one second delay. Oh, damn it. I have to do this with every blue I come across. Just so I can have the power ball. Yeah, run away, 
you babies. Outside, they, they, you 
idiot. You didn't hit it in here. Well, we will find it for sure. Oh, do you think? No, you must be right. Maybe we ought to try to talk Mario before he tries to. Okay. Uh, Mario, good fight and all. Yep, I mean, what you, however, yeah, he's trying to, oh no, he's sinking down, whoa, castle's falling apart, whoa, the windows were just blue down there, wait, we have red and blue, that's only the King Koopa? Koopa? Or where's the red, red and blue? Are they like still in here? Seriously? Where's the red and blue Goomba? Koopa. Koopa. So many names to keep track of. Seriously, where did they go? Give me that coin, baby. Only one coin for a tree. Really? That's kind of pathetic. And now it's gonna. Yeah, we're just gonna click save and continue. Honestly. We're just going to skip the dialogue here too, so what's the point? Unfortunately, there's not like a skip cutscene dialogue. All we can do is just hold down the B button and just we can go through the dialogue super fast. That's the only thing we can do. I mean, if I wanted to read a read, I would pick up a book. When I play a video game, I want to play a video game. I don't know. Adding voice actors. I mean, Nintendo is busy. I wish they could afford voice actors. I mean, they literally made a movie, meaning they had to pay voice actors. Animation. In a time slot. So, why doesn't Nintendo. Uh, they buy use voice actors in their games. And don't tell me like they do have voice actors. Yeah, they say certain ones like Let's a Go or Peachy. But those aren't those are like just, just little clips. I wouldn't call that like voice lines. Like, like I said, like word clip. So that really doesn't count to me. Okay, here we go. And we're back. Blah, 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 blah. Where's the save point when you need it? Save point, save point. My kingdom for a save point, save point. Oh, <laughs> fell right on me. Okay. It really serves me. Yeah, right. that i'm gonna end this video here if you like this make sure to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends and until the next one this is edge signing off